Hi everyone. Um, so this is the second time that I have posted this video. The first time I realized I made a spelling mistake on one of my signs. So this is my repost, my revideo. Uh, this is my teacup 12 by 12 double layout. Does not light up. Um, this was a lot of work. I did a lot of hand drawing in this one. And I feel like I'm running out of steam again with uh, finding inspiration for layouts. School's approaching, I won't have as much time to scrapbook. But um, someone suggested, a friend suggested to do teacups. I was like, all right. And I started with um, cutting these one inch border strips and I put them all together and I really, really didn't like it at first. So I ended up flipping it around. So this was originally the bottom, this was the top. I liked it better like that, but it still looked weird to me. I, it kind of required a border and I didn't know what to do because I couldn't add a border to these strips because it would make the other strips very tiny. So I went to my good old trees that I seem to be using lately. I like it because it's dark on the sides and it really pulls you in to the story that I'm trying to tell on the page and it really will um, make you concentrate on the moments in time that I've chosen to preserve and showcase. So that's how I came up with the tree idea. But yeah, I took all these little strips and I've re-sewn them on to the page. There's a lot of sewing, but I just used a zigzag uh, stitch and that's what the back looks like. I was gonna sew everything on the page, um, like the grass and everything, but I knew it was gonna be busy. So I just ended up uh, printing stitching everywhere. So I'll just go through any techniques that I used and um, any product that I used. So this is a Julie's uh, sticker and uh, I just, it was white and I added some red acrylic paint to it and some um, sparkle. I'm using any sparkle you see in this page. I'm using that Spectrum Noir uh, pen, which I'm almost all out. So I do suggest getting the paint pots that last a lot longer. Just use your own paintbrush. But this is convenient to have. You get three for 20 something, so it's not too bad. And that's Canadian, so it's even cheaper for USD. Um, this paintbrush came from a Jolie's sticker pack from like a renovation or something. And I added the red acrylic paint. I added glossy accents to it and the sparkle. And I put the sparkle all in the trees, just randomly on the bark. The trees are purple cardstock, and then I um, use Copic markers on it to make different color purples, and I just cut it free-handed by hand. It's simple shape, so it's nice and easy. We got the flamingo hedgehog. I did the little baby oyster. And do not step on the mum wraths. I did these little patches, because when I had just the paper down, no other stuff, I was trying to make it all quilty-like for some reason. And the mum wraths I put uh, the little googly eyes on all of them. I did some cards and again I put the glossy accents on the paint to make it look wet. Uh, this punch is Martha Stewart and I have added with my white pigment ink pen which is right here. Um, I use the sorry Uniball Signo pens. Um, I do believe these are available in the States. I got those about 10, 15 years ago off eBay, um, imported from Japan, but I think they have them at Staples in the States, but not in Canadian Staples because we have nothing here. It feels like we're in the States. <laughs> um, with Alice, I uh, drew her out and I originally shared this on a Facebook page. Um, I'm part of a few scrapbooking pages and I forgot to cut, I drew the bottle and I forgot to cut the bottle, bottle out, so I fixed that. I've put vellum behind on top of the drawing that I've done and then I took a piece of shrinky ink paper or you could take acetate and uh, made it look like glass. And then I've used real twine on there. I have a little charm, ace of hearts, and I just drew the little uh, drink me there. And these are the little flowers that I drew. Um, I used an X-Acto knife to fussy cut it out, which is so much easier than scissors. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I've learned to slow down when I'm cutting and I'm getting better at rounding my corners and everything. So I think scissors are a thing of the past for me when it comes to cutting out characters. And I've added the sparkle to all these flowers. Um, we've got these little characters, little duck guys, little hammer birds. Uh, the title, I uh, used my Cricut, Cricut Design Space. I uh, do believe this came with the computer font. And then I got this from Dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. 
and they have free flats there that you can use for personal use. They do have some for commercial use, but I think you have to pay for them. But if it's just personal use, you can use them. Here's my hidden Mickey with some buttons. I originally did a whole bunch of leaves like this uh, for the tree, but I realized that it was too much. I really enjoyed having like that arc to suck you into the middle of the page, like your eye flows better that way. And uh, it needed something dark up here to help ground it. So I was thinking, what can I use instead of leaves? Mad Hatter, I was thinking ribbon or buttons, and buttons won that battle. It was nice to use buttons because I don't use them very often. We got the Dormouse, we have our pencil birds there. We have the Umbrella Vulture. And we have a white rabbit. This is a Jolie's sticker. It's nice and chunky. Comes in a pack of four. I made the pennant. And then I've sewn my photo mats. Kept it nice and simple because I knew the page would be busy. And up here we have Tweedledee, Tweedledum. And I've drawn the doorknob. And for my butterfly, um, I've put glossy accents on where the butter is and then just some sparkle where on the bread. And Mad Hatter, March Hare, and um, I love how the Copic markers can do that, although I do realize that that light part should have been closer to the front of his hat there. Well, all retrospect, I'm still learning with Copics. I've never taken classes, so it's uh, live and learn. If you look back at my other videos, you can see I am, I do believe I'm improving, but I still have lots of room for improvement. And the way you do this is I lay down the lightest colors, the color in the middle here, over the whole thing. And then I come in with the next darkest color, then the next darkest, and I just kind of flick it in. And at the end, I come back to the lightest color. I go over it again and do tiny little circles. If you see a hard line, and it blends all out, which is really nice. I've added some gold accents. This is the teapot that's in the Walt Disney World ride. So that's why I included that there. And then I've added the sparkle to the tea to make it look more liquid-like. And I've drawn the symbol and the drum frog. Added sparkles to the little accents here. And then I have a little Easter egg here um, with the March hair. So I think I'm gonna do this with my Disney layouts from now on. Pull in um, other characters from different movies. Don't tell my kids and see if they ever notice. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But yeah, that's uh, Chip and Mrs. Potts there. And then we'll go down here. I have my little caterpillar that I drew. Little teeny tiny guy. He's got a little bit of sparkle coming through um, to show the smoke. I just drew those mushrooms. This is my 1980s edge scissors that I still use <laughs> often. It's probably the only one that I do use. And then we have these flowers that I drew. I uh, absolutely adore that tiger flower right there. I really like it. That's where my spelling mistake was and then wasn't and then was. I fixed it and um, I have the crown there to represent the queen because I couldn't fit her in there. And then I just drew all those little signs with my, and then colored in with Copics. And um, the cool thing about this mat is, um, I don't know, I tried to do this in the first video and it didn't work very well. So, so the picture will go, will come right through. This is a bad example because it's blue in the picture as well. It'll come right through and go through the glasses and it'll, same as Cheshire, because Cheshire is disappearing. And the way that I achieved that was I drew Cheshire like I normally would, colored him in, and then I cut out the light pink stripes and I put vellum on top and then cut out the shape of his body and added a little bit of sparkle to where it was changing so it looks magical as he's disappearing. But I thought that was really cool. You can see the paper behind right there. I think that covers the whole page. Oh, this paper here is Bow Bunny with the little dots, which is some of my favorite paper. And I do believe that's my last uh, piece that I was working with, which is very sad. I've had that in my stash for many, many years. So yeah, we're all mad here. It's a crazy layout, <laughs> but it's a crazy movie. One of my favorite Disney movies. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, you know me, I'm an open book. Um, if you uh, hit subscribe and hit the notifications, you'll know when my new video comes up next. And like I said, it's, uh, what is it? It's August, beginning of August. So I have less than a month to have free range in my scrapbook room. And um, then it's 
back to the grind work and everything with school so thanks for watching guys bye